Yeah, S600, big body and it's tinted Just to handle business Purpose says they got me in my feelings I try to Just letting you guys all know before I start this video Um, All the music in it now will be uh, copyright free Um, Because I keep getting flagged So it may be a little bit boring But it should be alright And hope you enjoy the video So it's just going to be random trap music that I can use And hip hop and whatever I can get my hands on That's non-copyright so yeah hopefully uh it works out for me because i have to re-upload this video because i got a flag for copyright so yeah so i'm um, yeah, enjoying the video and um keep uh them subscribers uh rolling in thanks guys see ya right now we're in the shed just got to get some lights on in here so i can actually see what's going on um got to set the big one up but it's got one globe blown but that's just more to keep the warmth in and get some light down into this but anyway um I should manage with just a just my torch or something, but yeah, I'm gonna set some lights up so we can start pulling this apart. And yeah, now my tools are really messy at the moment. Like I got a chamois in my tools. I need screwdrivers. I know that spanners are under there, but I think first what I'll do is um. I'm going to have to remove, obviously, um, I'll take off the intake pipe here, accelerator and cruise control cable, um, intake dump, water line, probably both, and the oil line, have to throw it all over, but yeah, no, I'll get that all undone, I'll I'll chuck the GoPro on and um, we'll get that apart. We'll see how we go. Righto, so I don't know how the positioning of the camera is. It's pretty much like a test thing, but let us know if you like it. And uh, I'll probably just do this in time lapse, but yeah, so. Oh, yeah, and also I'd use like my light. That's my, that's my bonnet light. This is how I do it. Get up on the pier and switch her on. Gives me good light. Can't complain about that. As long as I don't fall and hit my window, it should be fine. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get this apart. Start um, removing some shit. Because I wanted to flip the turbo up over the top. Post Malone, boys.
there's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice Okay, let me just explain Now we're off the GoPro um, And also tell me if you like that idea and I'll keep doing it because it's just, it, you get more progress, you know what I mean? You can record while you go. So, let me show you the problem now. I can actually talk about it. Sorry about the rain. It's probably hard to hear, but yeah. So what's happened is this is an up pipe. So that's like a 90 degree bend, which comes off my original manifold, comes up to the turbo, yeah? This is a casting point. I thought that the head of that bolt would clear it, but obviously I need to take that bolt out for the heat shield because this isn't pulling up 100% on that side. And you can see there's a pretty big gap there. So that's why I'm getting a big um, exhaust leak. So, yeah. So the plan is get the external wastegate off, take this off, clean the surfaces, remove this bolt. Hopefully it doesn't vibrate the shield, but should be alright, I think. If not, I'll just have to like drill a hole or something and put some ho uh, metal zip ties on it. So yeah, I'll, I'll get back on the GoPro, I'll jack the car up, I'll get the gate, waste gate off and we'll soon see what's going to happen. I know my limits, you can break me down, but I'll stay till the finish line. And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days to get away To see you again, see you again hitting this casting mark which caused this whole side here not to seal. Now let me just show you on the bottom and see the zip tie trick? You need that. If that falls on your head you are fucked dude. That is so heavy it's cast iron. 
So let's have a look underneath the car now at the problem. That's why I wasn't, I was making boost but I wasn't having enough flow and I, and you can obviously tell. I look at the size of the exhaust leak I had. The whole half of the gasket is completely blown out. So now I'm going to have to remove that, clean it, clean the surfaces, bolts back on. So, the gasket I have now, that one there isn't a ringed gasket, so the inner edge, I'm going to zoom this in, you can see, maybe it was, I don't know, but I remember this gasket was just one I found in my toolbox. The gasket I actually need believe it or not, which is right here. This is off the fucking what? This is off a V... V... N or VP V6 calorie converter gasket. And it has... One sec, I'll open it. As you can see, it's got that nice ring in it. which prevents burning the gasket out because what happens is the exhaust tries to push through the layers of the gasket so now we have one with the ring and the right size, so I'll have to modify a little bit we should be pretty safe so let's whip this on under there and see if it is correct and then we'll go from there so I want to clean the surfaces I'll go chuck my GoPro back on charge and we'll see how we go Righto, so the GoPro's on charge now for a bit. For now, I'll be using just the phone. Um, so it looks like, for some real weird, some weird ass reason, it's not even, that gasket gear's been in there for months and it hasn't even set yet. So I don't know what's going on there, but I'm gonna have to clean it now. I can sit this camera somewhere to actually show you. So we're going to clean it now and um, get all that goo off and clean the surface of the manifold, remove this out of the way. If I had a thinner head it'd be fine, like, I just I hope it doesn't vibrate. Um, yeah, I might be able to try find something with a thinner head, I don't know, but yeah, might just take it out. But yeah, nah. I'll definitely um, clean all that up and we'll see what we do. All right. Oh. So, let's remove this gasket and see the damage. All right. I'm getting it underneath this car. Okay. So you can probably see what's happened here. Obviously. Um, so this is ga gasket actually a... I don't believe it was. You know, it wasn't, see? That's the difference. Okay, so see... Can we see it? If you look into the gasket, it hasn't got a ring, it's all, you can see the individual layers. Well, that's why it's blown out for one, plus um, having that weak spot there. And this wasn't even a two and a half inch as well, so I'm pretty sure it wasn't anyway. This is only like a stock size gasket off like a Magna or something. But I had to use it for the time being because obviously I had nothing else. The gasket I have now is actually two and a half inch and it's got the ring in it so it probably won't blow out. So I'm just going to clean the other surface up underneath and then I'll um, pop the gasket on. Not using any goo, I'm just going to run the gasket so nothing goes up into the turbo which this debris, this is what I would have been hearing uh, in the turbo when when it happened, I heard like a, it almost sounded like a spring or something on vibrating. I'm pretty sure that was bits of gasket going into the turbo. Turbo seems alright. Um, I don't think anything's wrong with it. 
it's probably only done like two, three kilometers down the road, you know. So, yeah, I'll pop this back together in a minute once I've cleaned that off and I'll remove that bolt. And yeah, I'll see if I've got something else I can put in there with a thinner head and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna pop this bloody um, gasket in and clean the surfaces and I'll get back to you once I've done that. Right, so I've got the, I've got the uh, gasket in. I also have to do this job as well. Fix the, put some clamps on here. But that's, that's after I do my car. Um, so yeah, let me just get back in here. I just have the GoPro on charge because it was getting a bit flat. <clears throat> so yeah, gasket's in. Um, that's all good. And I'm ready to put back together, just in reverse, obviously. Um, I didn't run, uh, I didn't run a bolt in here. If I ever needed to, I'd probably just drill a hole here, drill a hole here, put metal zip ties in to hold it down, but I don't think it will vibrate, it should be all right. So, yeah, I will also today, hopefully if I get time, I will mark up my exhaust. So I'm just gonna reconnect it to my original exhaust pipe at the moment, or system, should I say. <clears throat> so, it's, so it still has the high flow cat in it. Because <clears throat> of the, my, uh, my exhaust is a two and a half inch. <clears throat> so my extractors up there come down um, it went to two and a half inch high flow cat into two and a half inch single offset muffler all the way over the diff. That's it. Just, I also have a three inch rear section, but I'm going to build the um, exhaust up to my original. And then eventually I'm going to make a three inch stainless all the way to the back with an interchangeable V band muffler. So I'm going to have a straight through um, some sort of racing muffler. I'm not sure yet. And then, um, <clears throat> then I'm gonna have V-bands on either side so I can interchange that with a straight pipe. So I can have a straight pipe or a V-band um, muffler in there. So um, yeah, I've got all the stuff inside to do it. I just gotta quickly put my O2 sensor in and everything after I remove this zip tie. Um, so once I get all that in, um, yeah, should be right. And yeah, so once I get the V-band and the exhaust done, all that shit, I should be right to take it to get it blue, uh, inspected for uh, engineering. And yeah, I'll be a happy man. So I'm going to quickly give this a little clean up with the scraper and I don't know, actually should be right. Oh, here it is. And then put it back on.
minutes left on my GoPro but that's all on there so far it seems to be fitting a lot nicer now the turbo's moved over a bit um, so yeah it's uh, it's getting there just gonna go put that external wastegate on but I'm not gonna record that I'm gonna put that on now and um, we'll put the dump on I think that now the turbo's moved over so much that it's gonna affect my dump and everything so I have to cut it now and reposition it but it should be alright because I actually had to massage the firewall back there a little bit, but hopefully it should be good now. And I'm going to go connect the dump up and the external wastegate, and we'll see what happens. So I'll do that quickly. I won't record it. I'll do that, and I'll um, be back to you in a sec. <laughs>
been working out a little bit what I have to do with my exhaust because the dump's really tight and it aims towards the floor so I've um, just cut a little bit of my dump pipe changed the angle and I'm now gonna just cut this section out because I'm gonna put like a v-band on the bottom of the dump so it's easy to like easy to uh, take on and off so you can separate the dump from the exhaust at the bottom so I'm going to cut this section out then I have to modify the little 90 degree I'm not really 90 but like 45 but you know I just need to lay some wood down and um, I'm going to cut this real quick and yeah right, I'll just quickly cut this section good old fucking safety boots are on Tell me it's flat again. I don't get that. Fucking hell. I really need to get an electric one, like cord corded one. I should have one laying around here somewhere, but I don't know what the fuck it is. So it's gotta use the battery run for now. the stainless too much.
Come on. Even though it isn't a hunt, that's pretty damn straight. Good enough for that. Um. So I've got a V-band over here. So even if it isn't straight, it doesn't matter because I'm welding the V-band in. Um, I'll just show you under here. The idea was to keep it a little bit longer. Doesn't matter because I can always fix that, but V-band, then bring it back here like that. So, I'll probably just tack weld it. Uh, well, I don't actually need to tack weld anything. I just got to, I'm going to take it down to work and weld it. But, the idea is to keep it V-band like that. And then I'll work out like a bit of an angle like that there for it. The torch is facing the right fucking way. You might be able to see. So, yeah. Even though it's missing my exhaust, it's fine. So I'm going to keep it down like that. I'll put a little 90 in it there. I'll trim this to the right length. But yeah, V-band there. I'll 90 it like towards that way. And then I'll probably just move the cat further down for now. Because it's not going to work. It's too close because the extractor used to be there. So, yeah. So the cat just has to be in there. I'll probably just cut that section out or something. I'll pop the cat straight in there. Um... So, I can pass the EPA test. But yeah, once I get that down in there like that, it should be fine. But yeah, I've got to weld the V-band in and weld a V-band to that there for now. So I can actually do it. At work though. So yeah, I've got the V-band right here. So that just slips over there like that. And you basically, and I'll just take it apart for you. So once this is spread, you got one half, and they face to each, they face each other. So then you basically just put him on, Hold on like that, out there. Run a weld on the inside, and that's it. So. It's about lunchtime. I'm meant to go meet up with my fiance and get lunch. So I'm going to leave it for now. But I'll quickly have lunch, quickly run down to work, weld this, weld the V band on, and the dump pipe. And then I'll, um, yeah, I'll be back into making a bit more of a video for the rest of the afternoon. And then I'll, um, yeah, I'll edit and chuck it online for you to watch. So it's going to be a pretty long video this one, but. Should be worth it, and please um, subscribe and everything, and try and um, share my videos around a bit, get more subscribers and more viewers and everything, hit the like button button and everything, share it on your Falcon pages and all that please, um, yeah, but I'll leave you at this for now, and then I'll um, be back soon to finish off the build, and yeah, so I'll pause it here and I'll get back to you in two secs. I just had lunch, about to head home, and I'll um, start back on the exhaust, try and get it all um, marked out, and I'll take it into work and weld it quickly.
waves cut through me Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in Hold tight, hold tight Chemicals collide Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight Dripping lights Paint the skies All because of you
if you're wondering. Um, yeah, so I'm off to work, gonna use the welder, gonna weld it all up, bring my little tripod so I can make a fucking little time lapse video. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit the road, we'll go there, we'll get back to you in a sec when I'm welding, I'll start the welder, and yeah, it'd be awesome. So, yep. Right, oh. Right, oh, it's all welded together. Um, got the V-band on, got all that done, that's boiling hot. Um, don't judge the welds too much, but just trying to rush it, get it finished. But yeah, no. Anyway, I'm gonna pack the welder up now and um, go give him a polish up on the buffer.